Hi Booktube, Lynette here and I'm coming in with an impromptu video. Um, I went to the library today, I took advantage of the gorgeous weather uh, that we're having in the UK at the moment and I walked to my local library. I had to take a book back and I had a couple of books that I had on reservation that had come in so I thought I'd pick them up and while I was there because I've moved I'm now closer to a much bigger library. I thought I'd have a browse and see what they had on offer and I ended up picking up a couple more books so I thought as I had four books that I would do an impromptu haul for you, library haul for you. So the first book that I picked up is A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kemmerer. This is book two uh, in the Curse So Dark and Lonely series that uh, she wrote. Spoiler for my March wrap up, I read the first book in March absolutely loved it um, and had to go and get the next book because I really wanted to continue the story. The story is a retelling of the uh, Be Beauty and the Beast story, or at least the first book is, and um, Harper, um, a young woman, is pulled from modern day America into a fictional uh, world where a uh, prince, Prince Wren, is cursed to be a beast and she meets his commander Grey as well and it's about how the three of them work together to break the curse on Prince Wren. This book picks up um, I think a few months after where uh, book one left off but Grey has disappeared and yes, we need to know what's happened because there is a prophecy and there is a war and I need to know what's going on. So I'm fairly certain I'm going to pick this up very, very quickly in April. So the second book that I had on reserve is The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. Um, I picked this one up because of the hype. Um, I read romance. If you've watched my channel, you know I read romance. Um, but this one really didn't intrigue me until all the hype. So this is a complete hype pick. So I'm not sure because I don't normally mainstream romance that goes on the bookshelves in shops. I don't really get on with. Um, it's usually a bit too cutesy for me. Um, but I thought I would give this one a go. It's about Olive who doesn't seem to believe in um, love and happy ever after so she decides to start an experiment and she asks a young man Adam to be her fake boyfriend and from there apparently the two of them fall in love it's gonna have a happy ever after um so and I enjoy romance so I am looking forward to it not quite sure when I'll pick it up um because like I say it is a complete hype buy and um, I reserved it weeks ago um, or not buy, borrow really because it came from the library but I reserved it weeks ago um, and kind of my desire to read it has waned a little bit since then but yeah we'll see how I get on and I'll let you know um, after I've read it. So those were the two that were the reason I went to the library so then like I say I, I went for a little wander just to see what they had on offer um, the science fiction and fantasy section is right next to the uh, reserved collection uh, section. So it wasn't any hardship for me um, to, to look at them. I do enjoy science fiction and fantasy. I've been trying to get more into back into fantasy for a long time. Um, trying to get a bit more into science fiction. And from there, I decided to pick up another hyped book, but one that does sound um, up my street. That first book is Sunlin in the Sens by Josiah Bancroft. This is a book series which I think has been completed now. I think it's a four book series. The library had three of them there, but Sunlin in the Sens is the first book. And it's about a man called Sunlin who is on his honeymoon with his wife. They go to the Tower of Babel and they have to enter the tower and his wife disappears and it's about uh, Senlin trying to find his wife and the adventure he goes on while he's doing that. Other than that I don't really know anything about it even though I've seen lots of reviews on YouTube I have managed to avoid any spoilers uh, so pretty much that is all I know. Looking forward to picking this one up. Um, I'm in a bit of a 
fantasy slash romance kick um, at the moment. So this might appeal to the taste for fantasy. Not it's not really going to. Um, it's not really going to hit the romance spot, but looking forward to trying it because while I was in the library I was just thinking oh that Josiah Bancroft book what was it called so yes definitely going to pick this one up soon as well and the final book that I picked up was a complete random selection um I'd never heard of this author before I've never heard of these books before and I think this might have been his debut book but the book I've picked up is A Mighty Dawn by Theodore Broome um it sounds a bit like a viking style story now it was in the general fiction so it's not fantasy um i think it might be historical fiction um and I, like i say i think it might be viking uh based fiction it sounds really intriguing it's about a young man who has sworn loyalty to his father in fire iron and blood um but when a terrible tragedy befalls his household he has to seek to pledge his sword to a new king and it's about what happens to him from there. Um, it sounds intriguing. Now, I picked this one up. This is, I think, the debut book. Um, I originally picked up what turns out to be the third book by this author. Um, they aren't linked. They're different characters in each. But I thought I would actually go back and read his first book rather than dive into the middle, which I have a tendency to do with some authors. I tend to dive into the middle and then backtrack but I thought no as they had um all three there I thought I'd give the first one a go first of all so really intrigued by this I've been reading a little bit of historical fiction um over the last few years and um it, it's been intriguing me I'm I'm kind of quite enjoying my journey through mythology and historical tellings and historical fiction um so yeah so I'm looking forward to picking this one up as well so that's my little impromptu book haul from the library. Uh, have you heard of any of these books? I know a couple of these books are The Bridget Camera and the um, Ali Hazelwood are quite well-known books around YouTube and BookTube. Um, so I'm expecting people to know those. But has anybody out there read the Theodore Brunn book? I'd be interested to hear from you if you have. And did you like it? Um, let me know what you think. I make videos every Monday and put them up at 6.30pm UK time. This is an impromptu extra video, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, then subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.